So here's something new. Not sure if it's broken or if it's too cold. This is probably the coldest day I've had yet. Let's see what this is saying. 15 Fahrenheit. So it's the unit itself is minus 10. Yeah, minus 10, minus 11. I guess it's trying to warm itself up. It's warmer where it's has the working parts. But it's not putting out any power. Let's see here. That's what it says it's putting out. Two watts. And I'm not sure if something inside one can put. I'm not sure if it's because the capacitors inside don't work. But uh, on this cold day, it's a no-go. It's actually colder than what that thing says uh, outside. I guess my garage must stay a little bit warmer. But that's the coldest this has gotten so far. Uh, and I am turning on solar battery chargers because I can't use this anyways. I already had them on all day because it was making it, that sound and I turned it off and I thought I'd just make a video and show you guys that in super, super cold conditions, I don't think this runs. Hopefully it's not broken. I'll update you guys on that. Batteries are fully charged. Hucking this baby up to the 250 watt solar panel today. Let's see what how, how well it does. And a little update on this battery. I did a little video of it. I added some water to it. Started working well for a bit. Um, and then, uh, it, well, the problem was it's so sulfated. Uh, it only took a charge when I charged it at 15 or 16 volts all night long for like, I don't know, eight hours. And then the next day I would have, I would have some capacity and I'd be able to, uh, use my battery a bit. I was getting about, I think at the best I got was six amp hours out of it. And, uh, but if you put it on a charge controller, which only brings it up to just under 15 volts, and then after that it, it goes down to a float voltage of 14 volts, it just did not take a charge. It would only charge if you push some serious uh, voltage into it. Uh, so I left it on there for a few weeks um, at the float voltage of 14 volts, and now it's got a shorted, shorted cell inside. So, useless. Um, I have not really had any good luck with, uh, reconditioning any batteries. <sighs> Usually they just work for a little bit and stop working. So I've kind of given up on that. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to hook up the 250 watt panel to this, hook it up to my battery bank and see, uh, how many watts it's producing. So I put a halogen light bulb on it to try and warm it up, see if it starts working again. It's only put out about 100 kilowatts, so I hope it's not broken. I have this set to uh, amps, and this is the 250 watt B grade uh, panel in the backyard. Oh, hold on. What's it doing here? Look at that. Ah, just kicked in. That's what it was. It was a uh, too cold warning. Awesome. Well, at least this thing's got some safeties. I'm going to actually shut it off, let it warm up some more, because uh, it's obviously on the brink of being too cold to run. So that's cool. At least I put some safeties into that thing. Anyways, okay, so this is a solar panel live. And these are the amps coming out. This is at 24 volts. There must have been a cloud that just went past. This was uh, at 5 point something before. Oh, there we go. Getting back up there. Sun, it's hazy outside. Actually, I'll show you guys right now. The sun's right over there. Okay. So, we are going to connect it to this, to the batteries, maybe put some load, 
with my load again and see what we get. So I just hooked the panel up. It's just starting to bring down the voltage. This was at 36 volts or 37 volts. Let's see what happens. It's only putting five, six watts in at the moment to the batteries. Let's see why. Is there a reason? Thirteen point eight volts. I wonder why it's only putting uh, a few watts into the batteries. It's only putting Lamp. Uh, should have a good connection on the battery side. I wonder if it's on some sort of uh, uh, float mode or something. I'm going to try putting a load on it, and uh, we'll see if that changes anything. Uh, these cables are very stiff in this cold. Sorry, I'll watch where I'm going to film in here. Alright, there we go. Put some load on the battery bank. It's coming down. Blowing red hot again. Did that change anything? Not really. Alright, what's going on with this thing? Still thinks it's full. Do I have something still on here charging these batteries? Okay. Nothing there, nothing there. That shut off. Why is my voltage so high? This is not making any sense to me. So that's my voltage there. I think one of my charge controllers is still on here. Just gotta figure out which one. This one's off. This one here. Is this on? Should be off. Yeah, PV's off. PV's off. I just put a 100 amp load on for like 10 seconds. My battery voltage is still way up. I think that's why it's not uh, turning on. There you go, 100 amp load. Wow, just does not want to dip down there. And we're glowing hot again. Did we dip down far enough? Nope. I think this is 13.2. Oh boy, what the heck. Mm -hmm. I'll just have to keep doing this until, uh, well, until it turns on, I guess. There we go. Dip down below there. Let's see. Hot again. It still didn't recognize it though. I'm not sure why this is not turning on. I'm gonna take the PV off for a second. Maybe do a little reset here. There, I got the. Everything's disconnected from this thing. It's off up there. Just connect it back up. There, you see the battery's connected. Always connect your batteries first. Mm -hmm. There. Connect again. 38 open voltage. Maybe it'll actually start taking some power this time. It's still. I'm not sure why it's doing this. 
I am unsure. I'm not sure why this isn't uh, charging. It's in normal charging mode. It's like it's not tracking it or something. Properly. Um, I don't know what to do with this. I gotta figure out my issue here and come back to you guys. All right, so I finally figured it out. Here's the watts being pulled from the panel and the amps. And that is what this little 10 amp charge controller is putting into my batteries. This is angled at the sun as well. This is not facing straight up in the air. It is going through a long cord, so there will be losses in the cord. Only at 32 volts. What I found, uh, my panel had some cells covered uh, with snow. And uh, I'm wondering if that's what caused it, because I could not get this, I could not get this to go up at all. The dead uh, short on the panel voltage or the panel amps was about five amps but uh, I couldn't get uh, the shared controller to work properly I went and swooped the panel off a little bit of snow covering a couple of the cells and bam works just fine so I'm unsure exactly what was wrong with it but uh, anyways it's working now and I don't even have to put a load on it so this one says 14.3 volts, but actual battery voltage is 13.6. And that is just the 255 watt B grade panel in the backyard. It must have some clouds. So I went down. I'll show you the angle of it anyways. Yeah, it, it it's a little bit cloudy. Let's take a look at the panel. It's all, it, the panel itself is almost in the shade. All right. It's right over there. It's not in peak, peak sun, but uh, it's pretty good. Pretty well angled for the winter. As you can see, shade is cre creeping up pretty fast. The bottom half of each of those cells were all covered, so I uncovered them. Yep, definitely think this is going to work out nicely in my commander. I have this, I'm gonna have, I bought another one of these, it's in the mail, one of those uh, monitors. I'm going to mount it in there. Mount this at a site somewhere. So now we're, it got cloudy-ish, now we're only putting in uh, 88 watts into here. 36 volts, and we are have it's limiting the power now because it believes it's at is it's uh cut off voltage because the loss is in these lines so i got 80 ish watts so oh, went down to 68 crazy uh we got that's what the, the grid tie is pushing into the house it was at 650 a minute ago cloud must have just come by it shows it on both these actually. Oh, that one's going back up. This one going up. No, not really. Well, anyways, that's the system. That'll be on the Jeep very, very soon. Thanks for watching, guys.